100,000 dead, 50,000 mutated beyond recognition. Those left living shelter in place, while the greedy power brokers dictate our future. From our eyes in the sky, this is Austin, after the fall. Austin, programming short films for South by Southwest. But then I met Clanche, and together, we woke up. I've assembled a stream of contraband media that will wake you up too, if you're willing to take the black pill. And on the subject of pills, our first piece of content is by COVID-19 positive artist Harrison Fishman. He creates content from the abandoned office park below. you eventually have to come down. And that part is sort of the part that I hate about it because it makes me really sad. And so I know that about myself and I know that drugs make me sad, so I sort of stopped doing them. There's a long history of the way in which people have hid their drugs and their stash um, in different places away from uh, other people from taking them or finding it or getting them in trouble. Um, and so when I get these drugs, I scan them and uh, take photos of them, and then I um, I keep I store them in flash drives. I store my drugs in flash drives. I keep the digital file of them uh, in a special place um, for no one to see or take. And then I um, I dispose of the drugs so that I don't take them. This is good because then I just have a bunch of files of of all the drugs that I that I want to take, but I don't actually have to take. So I just sort of hold on to them. And I was thinking about this acid that my sister had given me that I had stored. And I decided today that I would finally take that acid, take that those, those seven tabs that she had given me. I believe having it uh, on these flash drives and carrying them around sort of opened my third eye um, and let me sort of see the world for truly uh, what it is and um, you know, that's what I think drugs are good for is showing you what the world really is That's why I bring my computer everywhere I go throughout the country. Filmmaker Xander Robin chronicles one such transformation in the next video.
Go! Been here for two hours. Hell yeah. I was just watching Conan O'Brien the other day. This dude had lizards on his shoulders. That could be me. I need five dozen two week olds and a cup of meal. Perfect. There you go, sir. Got you all taken care of. We don't need your coming, man. All of a sudden, and you scoop them. Hey, little guy. I love even the smell of them. You can smell them in the tank. This is our bond, man. You told me you were into lizards, right? Let's just put them on. You really just let go. Uh... That's a big old male. The orange crest on the back, they're just lazy old men. You know, you go along a house wall with a line trimmer and you're trying to trim the grass along the wall and you'll see all these little baby lizards popping out in the front of you and they'll try to scamper up the wall. And just as you get ready to go past them and you think they're gonna hang on to the wall, they drop and just land themselves right into the spinning line of the, of the line trimmer and it's, I, I a little two-inch lizard, and I feel bad, but there's lots of them. Animals really shouldn't be pets. Dogs and cats are domesticated. They depend on us, but turtles and, and frogs and iguanas, I don't want to be in a cage. You know, I'm caged in enough in my life. Now, lizards are cool. They don't belong inside the house, not my house. When you have your own house, you can put them out there. I'm sick and tired of this.
to the new house, can't go back home. Blackfeather monitor again. These guys live in Africa. It's beautiful, beautiful, but very powerfully strong lizards. Yeah, he's really strong. Let Let's me know if you want to rescue. No, that's, I'm fine. It. I could have been calmer and more happy. He, 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 he likes you. You want him? You want to keep him? Well, I just injected him. <laughs> song from Glenn's Garage and thank you for all your support on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Without your support this isn't possible. And this is for my mother. God bless her. There's a closet full of dresses that I bought you. I'm here uh, on my property. I'm going to be building a house and moving next door to a neighbor that's kind of a problem. Call code enforcement if you don't, and I'll have a bunch of neighbors that'll back me. In the drive. Excuse me. Hey, sir. Hey. Hey, neighbor. So before hey. you. Hey, can you come over here for a second? Hello. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be your next door neighbor, uh, building a house. Neighbors are telling me. You gotta wait. I can't hear what you're saying. You gotta wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna what, be your next door neighbor. You, sir? I'm building a house, and all the neighbors are telling me, and I represent them kind of. You know, you play your music morning, noon, and night, and it's very loud. Well, I'm sorry. I appreciate the fact of you coming out, and I understand your. I can appreciate your situation, but um, I'm living in America, and as long as I've got an American flag flying over my house, I'll play what I want. Do you know there's and, a woman uh, next door with a baby? Have some respect for the, my mother. For your you act mother. like you have no respect. Now no. she's in a position where she can't really help herself, so it's my job. I'm all she has. Okay. You can understand my situation, oh, so I, I don't think this it. is going to hurt anybody. Am I asking you to stop singing? You live in this neighborhood? I don't think so. What's so don't that? worry about I'm it. I'm sorry? You don't live here, do I'm you? I'm building a house on this property, well, which is mine. Of, I'm don't not you turning understand? the music down. Don't you understand? Do you understand me? Well, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something Code else, enforcement is going to come to you. You better not cross that line right there. I have you crossed the line. I'll tell you what. Why don't you cross this line? No, I'm not going to cross any line. You don't try to goat me into anything. I will goat you into it. Oh, yeah? You're being unreasonable. You know I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more reasonable than you ever thought of being. I'll, I'll tell you what. But well, you know what? Let, 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 let's let's fast forward. Fine. Well, when code enforcement comes over yeah, here, okay, hey, hey, buddy, listen, you're being rude. I'm not your buddy. Obnoxious. Cross that line, you're going to wish you had Get out of my, get away from my house. You Goodbye, Elvis wannabe. If you're gone. 
do me wrong. He ain't reasonable. Code enforcement. Just do it wrong. He's a horrible human being. Bye bye. No, I'm on my property. Bye bye to you. Well, that episode is ruined. You know, some people have no respect. This guy is unreasonable. Welcome to 3045. We know you're watching this video in 2008 because we have developed Eye of the Past technology. Her cryogenically frozen body was recently thawed using plasma particles. We are now back in college, simultaneously being recruited by Microsoft in the present and in the future. We will now take you to the world of 3045. Please prepare yourself for a journey of the mind. A mind quest. We are Microsoft. Together, the possibilities are endless. Would you like to work on Mindhouse? Your mind makes the house you live in. Build a mind bed and take a nap. It's still in beta. It's all possible here in 3045. Come to Microsoft and experience the infinite. Sparks are going to fly right over your natural fire. 
When your characters come through Arctic hot pants with a breast paint and gladly in the net. Stay in character with some Praetorian mind greens and you will be the penny giver of safe isolation. None of that gear is going to help us when the COVID shit really hits the fan. Corey Hughes, working diligently from self-isolation in the artist containment colony, has made a gear review video on the ultimate piece of quarantine tech. Hey there YouTube, Deer Pro 42 here with another unboxing video for y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's uh let's dig on into this box. Today we have the Vibram Five Finger Toe Shoes. You are the technology. Let's see what we got here. Sticker, the Vibram logo, left shoe, the uh, top, the side, that's the bottom, front. Note the uh, fully separated and uh, articulated toes right there. Here we have the uh, the right shoe. Like the color, like the laces. How about we put these on and uh, take them for a test drive? Grab my uh, 360 right here. All right. Start it with the left one. I just take a little work to get these uh, piggies where they need to be. All right. Feels pretty interesting. How's that look? Looking good. Yeah, good. All right, let's get on out of here. This is my backyard. Got a mango tree, coconuts. Lawn looks good. This gate opened up, and there she is. Barely feel like I'm wearing anything at all. Nice color, like the color. Seating area right here. Hang out, take it easy. So yeah, these uh, feel pretty good so far. How's it looking up there? Looks good. 1080p HD video. Tracking initiated. Switch to map mode. Zoom out. Zoom out. Now tracking Deer Pro 42. Here's my neighborhood. Trying out some different speeds with these shoes. Slow walk. Medium walk, medium job. Water resistance test number one. Vibram five finger toe shoes are water resistant up to two feet. My feet are totally dry. where I bought my GoPro and my big screen TV and my sunglasses. Shoes are doing well on the concrete. Got a lot of stuff out here today. There are so many things in the world. I will buy this thing. The tiny deer are roaming on the shores. They are searching for food. The ocean is calling to me. My shoes will guide me. I can see all things at all times. These shoes are amazing. Water resistance test number two. 
My toes are completely dry. The fish love my new shoes. Are you lonely down here? Cross my mind.